What's good, Guardians? Welcome to another video by your boy, Killer Afghan. As always, if you enjoy the video, click that thumbs up button below, and please leave some comments. I'm always looking for feedback on how I can improve the channel. And if you're feeling really generous, and you want to show your boy Killa some love and support, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to provide you a guide for completing the Wanted Silent Fang quests. Weekly resets provide many opportunities to go after endgame activities to obtain powerful gear. For example, Ascendant Challenges, as well as Spider's Weekly Bounty. But before you take your grandpappy slap happy guardians behind over there to purchase it from Spider, keep in mind it does cost 5 Ghost Fragments. And unless you have some sort of layaway plan with Spider that we can't access, you're going to have to go to the Tangled Shore and open chests or complete public events to get some of those fragments. So once your broke guardian actually has 5 Ghost Fragments, head straight to Spider and purchase the Wanted Silent Fang Weekly Bounty. For the purpose of this video, I've already purchased the Silent Fang Weekly Bounty from Spider. Simply put, to complete this Weekly Bounty, you're going to need to complete the Wanted Silent Fang Adventure located in the Sludge on the EDZ. Head straight to that waypoint. As soon as you land, you're going to want to go straight and bust that bestie lefty right between the two cliffs that you're going to see on your left. Go down that valley and to your right up the hill, you'll see the waypoint for the Wanted Silent Fang adventure. Once you activate that adventure, turn right around and go through what appears to be an empty trailer that leads right into the Lost Sector to complete this adventure. At this point, all you need to do is continue to go through the Lost Sector clearing ads until you make your way to Silent Fang. The only wrinkle is, occasionally you'll need to throw explosives dropped by shanks at objects generating shields to progress. Defeating Silent Fang is really no different than destroying any mini-boss in PvE. If you're anything like your boy Killa, you're gonna go in there, smack him around a little bit, do a little dance, taunt him, kick him in the rear, and put him to sleep. And if you really want to be bold and make a statement, maybe you give him a teabag or two while he's down there before you collect your loot. As far as tips for defeating Silent Fang, I would definitely recommend Sleeper Simulant for taking big blocks of health away from him during the course of the fight. And remember, the only wrinkle is you're going to have to occasionally throw the explosive drop by the shanks at objects generating shields or him to make him vulnerable to damage. As soon as Silent Fang is down, you'll see notifications pop up on your screen indicating that you've gotten your powerful gear, as well as you'll find a cache key that'll let you open the cache that's in that room. Well, my dear brothers in arms, that's it for the guide. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching the video and checking it out. And I'll catch you next time.